Hi, it's Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton again. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about the Convention Center today with my colleague, Mary Catherine Carmichael. Thanks for being with us. Happy to be here. So, so there's a lot of talk about this. Maybe we could start by saying, let's imagine you really don't know much about the Convention Center at all. You haven't okay. been following this. Okay. What should people know about what's going on with it? So we have an existing convention center, and it's great, except for the fact that it's just not big enough. Okay. So it hasn't been big enough since almost the moment the doors opened. So as long as 30 years ago, other city leaders that preceded us ha started planning for an expansion. So since you've been mayor, we've been working on this for six years, yeah. had a little time out thanks to the COVID yeah. Yeah. situation, yeah. but we're back at it, and we're really excited because we think we have a great path forward. So um, we think it's a good thing for the city to help downtown. Uh, we have a lot of traffic on the weekends, but we have some room in the weekdays, so this would help really support a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What um, what makes us ready now? Like, what's what's going to happen next? Do you think? So we have everything we need. Like, if we were making, if this was a cake, we would have all the ingredients needed <laughs> for the recipe, right? We have land. We have funding. Um, we have some plans. We, we're going to take another look at those. We haven't reviewed those for a while. Um, and we've got folks that are willing to work with us on this. We can't do it alone. So um, we tried over that period of six years to get some different approaches, which didn't work, a couple different approaches. Uh, the new approach, which is involving maybe a 501c3 and that kind of thing, some people are saying, well, are you, is the city just doing this alone? But can you tell us who, who do we work with and how would this work? Right, there's absolutely no way we could accomplish this alone. Actually, it's not even, it's not even uh, one of the ingredients you can <laughs> choose from. So we've got the FabTAC, which is the Food and Beverage Tax Advisory right, Commission. Commission. Yeah, That's yeah. a mouthful. Yeah. Um, we, they uh, control the, or they uh, decide appropriate use of the fab, okay. of the food and, and beverage tax. That's a city county thing, evenly, right? Mm -hmm. That That's committee. Right. Yeah, we've got uh, our city council. They yeah. have to say yes. We think this is a good idea. You can go forward. The county council also has to say yes. This is a good thing. Because they voted for the tax to begin with. Yes. So the, the food and beverage tax, which pays for this. That's right. right. And then the CBC which is the Convention and Visitors Commission. Okay. I have to get all these right. There's a lot of acronyms involved in all this. But um, they're the ones, they control the uh, innkeeper's tax. Right. And that would be like a steady stream of funding that we'd like to share with the existing convention center. Not to, uh, we want to work closely in conjunction with them. So all those entities have to work together, will right. work together to, to build the new expansion. That's right. And uh, are we... Is it, is it going to be run together or separately, or how, how would it be operated, do you think? Ideally, yeah. I mean, it would be foolish to duplicate efforts right. along those lines, and they should be marketed together and, okay. and run by the same people. And we think the folks who are doing it now are doing a great job, and we'd love it if they would do the same kind of work that they're doing for the existing convention center for an expanded facility. Thanks for the update. I appreciate it. My uh, we're, we're hopeful and optimistic and pleased that there's a really good path forward with a lot of people at the table. Um, we've been working at this a long time. We promised to use that food and beverage tax to build a con new convention center expansion. Right. So we're ready to go. Uh, plenty more detail uh, and plenty more conversations to happen, but just wanted to give you that update. Thank you, Mary Catherine, Thank for that. Thank you, Mayor. And we'll be in touch again. Mm -hmm.